Welcome to the Edupedia World, virtual world free education. My name is Suraya Sayed, Microsoft Certified Trainer. After copying data, you can use the Paste Options command to paste specific cell contents or cell attributes such as formulas or formats from the clipboard into an Excel worksheet. You can paste only the cell content without the formatting or only the formatting without the cell contents. When you click on the Paste drop-down button, on the home tab of the ribbon, Excel displays different paste options in a palette appeared with three groups of buttons, paste, paste values, and the other paste options. Let's have a closer look to the icons. Under the first paste group, you can choose either to paste all values and formatting to the new range if you clicked on the, the first button from the left or to paste only the value without any formatting if you clicked the second button you can choose to paste the values or function and the number formats or to paste the values and or function and formattings. And you can paste the values and formatting, however, don't paste the border lines. Also to paste the width of the source columns if you want. In the second group, paste values, we can see the following icons. Just to copy the value only, not functions, or to copy and paste the values only and the number formats, or to copy and paste the values and formattings. And finally, in the last group, other based options, we will find the following icons. To just paste the formattings, or to paste links to the source cells or to paste a picture or to paste a linked pictures. In this example, I am going to compare different options of pasting data. Select the cells that contain data, formula or attribute that you want to copy. Click copy from the ribbon, then Click the cell to which you want to copy the data. Click Paste from the ribbon. The best option pastes everything. Formatting, number formatting, and formula. You can notice the font is Tomba and the font color is blue. Also, the accounting number formatting is pasted. And the formula now is equal sum the range from J5 to L5 because of the relative references and it will return nothing or zero. After pasting, Excel displays a paste options button with the label control to its immediate right at the end of the pasted range or pasted cell. When you click this drop down button, a palette appears with also the three groups of buttons. If you change your mind, it will enable you to quickly switch between other paste options. Now let's change our choice and we are now choosing to paste values. Immediately the formula bar changes from the submission equation to show the final result exactly equal to the result in cell F5. Now let's try to copy again 
the formula and paste it in M6 now we will choose to paste values and the number formatting formatting is preserved only for numerical values in addition only formula results are pasted text formatting is removed now let's try to paste values and source formatting it pastes values only and preserve all formatting or we can paste only the formatting leaving all values and formulas out of the best range if we choose formatting only you will feel that something didn't happen until you enter any information in the cell after that you can see the formatting is applied to your text pasting using link cells link the pasted cell to its original copied location so that any change happen in f9 m9 will be automatically affected and updated and if you look at the formula bar you will find a formula equal f9 surrounding with two dollar signs before f and nine which is an absolute reference to the fixed cell f9 We can also preserve the column widths as well as the formula and formatting when choosing keep source column widths. Thank you for watching Edupedia World Videos. See you at the next video.